had another question from someone that wanted to know, can I add honey to apple cider vinegar? Some people add lemon, some people don't, but the honey part is what we're going to focus on. Here's the problem with honey. 56% of it is fructose and 44% of it is glucose. Now, these numbers aren't exact. There's some other sugars in there as well. Uh, it has a glycemic index of 78. It's high. Now, glucose has a glycemic index of 100, right? Now, you might have this idea that eating pure glucose is going to be really, really bad. And if we add some fructose in there, which actually will lower the glycemic index, it's going to be a lot better. The problem with fructose is that it's not dealt with by all your cells in your body. Only the cells in the liver can deal with fructose. So it puts a lot of stress in the liver and it creates a lot of problems. Now, honey compared to sugar is obviously a little bit better. Uh, if you had the choice, you know, of course, honey is a little bit better because it has some antioxidants. Uh, so it's good for various things, wound healing. It has some antimicrobial properties. It may help you with certain allergies, but overall it's low in actual nutrients. And it's a little bit better than refined sugar, but not much. So that's the long answer to the question, but the short answer is no. Thanks for watching. Before you go, if you have a question about a product or you're new to keto and you want to know how to begin keto, or you're on keto and you need a debug because it's not going as smooth, I have a keto consultant standing by to help you. This is just for the people in the U.S. Hopefully in the future we'll be able to answer everyone's call. But I put the number down below so you can call and get some help.